let's make life multiplanetary and be a space faring civilization, be out there among the stars. Um, you know, I think th there are things that, uh, like you have to be excited about the future. Um, you know, life, life cannot just be about solving one problem after another. Um, they have to be things that, that, that really sort of move your heart and that make you excited to wake up in the morning. Um, and I think being a, becoming a space-bearing civilization is one of those things. If you ask kids anywhere around the world, like what, is, what are some of the most inspiring things? You, know, you can ask a like, five-year-old, six-year-old anywhere in the world, and they're gonna say, you know, space exploration is one of those things. And, um, and we wanna make sure that we, we're, we're, you know, that Apollo is not the high watermark. In this video, Elon Musk discusses the importance of becoming a multi-planetary civilization and the need to explore and colonize other planets. He emphasizes the excitement and inspiration that space exploration can bring, particularly to young minds around the world. The conversation touches on the significance of making life multi-planetary as a means of ensuring the survival of the human species. Musk argues that by establishing colonies on other planets, we can create redundancy and resilience against catastrophic events that could threaten life on Earth. Overall, the video encourages a forward-thinking approach to space exploration and underscores the importance of looking beyond our planet for the future of humanity. The, the, the point is that the, the Apollo program was something that was inspiring uh, to everyone um, around the world. And uh, we, we don't want the Apollo program to be the high watermark of, of human exploration. And um, yeah, we want, I think you want to have some, some sense that the future is going to be better than the past, that we're going to be out there going to other star systems. And uh, you know, what, what you see in a science, science fiction, non-dystopian sci-fi story, of which there are not many, um, but like Star Trek, I suppose. Um, if, if physics is correct, the, the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. Uh, Earth is about four and a half billion years old. So, but at 13.8 billion years, a civilization that even lasted a million years is three digits past the decimal point. And if you consider human civilization, uh, I, I, I date it from like the first writing. So that first writing was the ancient Sumerians, uh, archaic pre, pre cuneiform around 5,500 years ago. So that is one millionth of Earth's lifespan. That's how long writing has existed. So uh, if, if we were to last if, if, as a civilization for a million years, that would be incredible. Um, and we would actually probably be in every part of the galaxy. So that, this, is, this causes me to, to think that, well, wh where are the aliens? It's the Fermi question. You know, the, the great physicist, Italian physicist, Enrico Fermi, he, he, he's like, where are they? Um, now, a lot of people think there are aliens among us. Um, and for, for some reason, this, the, a lot of the same people who think there are aliens among us didn't think we, don't think we went to the moon. I mean, if, I've not seen any evidence of aliens, and space, SpaceX with the Starlink constellation has uh, roughly 6,000 satellites, and, and not once have we had to maneuver around a UFO. <laughs> I don't see any evidence of aliens, and um, I'll look at it. I, if somebody has evidence of aliens uh, in, in a, you know, that's not just a fuzzy blob, um, then I'd love to see it, love to hear about it. Um, and, uh, but I don't think there is. So, the, the, which is a, actually reason for concern because you could, if, a, if any civilization in the Milky Way in our galaxy were to last for a million years, uh, even with uh, a speed of travel that's far below the speed of light, you know, like a few percent of speed of light, they could easily uh, have explored and colonized the whole galaxy. So. So they haven't. So why not? Um, I think the, the the answer might be, or perhaps probably is, that that civilization is precarious and rare, um, and that we you should really think of human civilization as being like a tiny candle in a vast darkness, and we should do everything possible to ensure that that candle does not go out. Let, let me let me maybe just. Uh, touch upon why I think making life multiplanetary is important um, because I think it's one of the things that gets us past uh, one of the uh, Fermi uh, great filters. So in, in trying to sort of explain why do we not see aliens, 
there are various explanations for why we don't see aliens. Like what stopped those civilizations uh, from, from expanding beyond their solar system? And, 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 and what, were the, what were the sort of, the, the sometimes called like Fermi filters? Um, well, if you don't become a multi-planet civilization, then you're, then you're simply waiting around until you, you die from a self-inflicted wound or from some, some natural disaster like the dinosaurs. You know, get hit by a big uh, meteorite or something like that. Um, the, eventually, something like that's gonna happen. If, if you wait a lot around long enough, the sun will expand to, uh, to engulf Earth and will be incinerated. So that, that for sure is gonna happen. Now, we, we've, got a, we've got some time before that happens. There are more near-term risks. Um, but we wanna try to get past the Fermi filter of being a single planet civilization. Now, this is gonna, this is all set. This is gonna be somewhat cerebral to many people listening, but I mean, if, but like, I think this is pretty, this is actually very important. We wanna get past the Fermi filter of a single planet civilization. The point is not to, to move from Earth to another planet uh, and let Earth die. That's not what I'm saying at all. And we want to be a multi-planet civilization so that we have planetary redundancy such that no single event can end can be the end of our civilization. That is the point of making life multi-planetary.